When you launch a new product, you get excited to check the results, hoping that it picks up straight away and gains hundreds of users. Only to check your dashboard and see three? Maybe one of them is your mum. I've been there. It feels like no one's paying attention like all the effort, all the late nights amounted to nothing. But here's what I've learned. Those early users are more important than you think. They're not just numbers, they're signals, validation, and most importantly, momentum. In this video, I'm going to share how those first 100 users shaped everything about my journey and why they might be the most valuable people you ever reach. Most of us imagine the first 100 users as just a stepping stone. Let's get to 1,000. Let's go viral. But the truth is, those early users do something way more powerful. They teach you. They show you what features actually matter, what messaging connects, and which parts of your product break in the real world. With fast folders, I thought the whole draw would be productivity, speed and convenience. But some of the first people to use it told me they loved how simple it was, that it solved the basic organizational need of the Gemini web interface. That feedback changed the way I positioned the product entirely. Getting those first users wasn't glamorous. It was scrappy, inconsistent, and honestly a bit awkward. I posted mainly in niche subreddits, extension libraries, and DM'd people who I thought might find fast folders useful. Some ignored me, some clicked, tested it, and gave me feedback. The key is that I stopped trying to go viral and instead focused on talking to people. Real people who I am still talking to now four months in and are giving me ways that the product can be improved. Message by message I revise and iterate and the user base keeps growing. Yes, it's slow, but it's consistent and it's because of those first 100 users. I still remember one user in particular sent me a message saying, thanks again for developing this extension. This is exactly what Gemini missed. That single comment hit different because up to that point, I was questioning everything, whether it was useful, whether I should keep going. But one sentence from a stranger was enough to make me double down. Sometimes all it takes is one bit of unsolicited feedback to make it real, to prove that this idea of yours is actually solving someone's problem. When I launched Fast Folders, it was basically just a sidebar and a button, a proper bare bones MVP with not the best looking UI. But as those first users came in, the feedback started flowing. People wanted to be able to reorder folders, to search for chats, to customize the layout. I didn't have all the answers, but they did. And slowly, through iterations, it became something people actually enjoyed using. It started as just an idea and turned into a tool that's now earning money and helping people all over the world, which is crazy when you think about it. Your little extension you built in a cafe has reached over half of the entire world. There's this shift that happens, at least it did for me, where I stopped looking at traffic and conversion rates and started thinking about people, not data points, people. I began recognizing names in the feedback, remembering who asked for what feature, and once that happens, everything changes. You stop building for growth and you start building for someone. That's when your product actually starts to improve. I'm not going to lie, it is difficult being the developer, the marketer, customer support and more, but it is rewarding. And the fact you can act upon any request with speed massively helps with user trust. If you're building something right now and it feels like no one cares, trust me, the first 100 people who show up are everything. They don't just validate your idea, they shape it. Don't chase scale too early. Focus on serving those early users like they're your only users, because for a while they will be. And if you do that right, the rest takes care of itself. What they're asking for is what many others will be thinking. So revise, iterate and ship. Drop a comment below if you're working on something right now. I'd love to hear where you're at and maybe be one of your first 100 supporters. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.